Welcome to our exploration of solar energy and how solar irradiance is key to optimizing solar farm efficiency. Today we'll dive into the science of solar irradiance, its types, and how it influences the development and performance of solar farms. Solar irradiance is the amount of solar power received per unit area, measured in watts per square meter. This metric is crucial for understanding the potential energy a solar farm can generate. Let's break down the three types of solar irradiance. First, we have direct normal irradiance, or DNI. This type represents the direct sunlight received by a surface perpendicular to the sun's rays, making it vital for concentrated solar power systems. Next is diffuse horizontal irradiance, or DHI. This measures the sunlight that reaches the Earth's surface after scattering through the atmosphere. Lastly, we have Global Horizontal Irradiance, or GHI. This combines both direct and diffuse sunlight, providing a complete picture of solar potential on a horizontal surface. LandGate's LandApp tool shares the direct normal irradiance data for the entire United States, but also on the parcel view level. We classify the DNI as 2D and 3D, where 2D is all the perpendicular sunlight and 3D takes into account any topography on that specific parcel. The Solar Value Index Score takes into account these two numbers when calculating a property's potential for solar development. The higher the irradiance number, the higher production potential the property has for solar energy. The relationship between solar farms and solar irradiance is profound. Solar panels convert sunlight into electricity through the photovoltaic effect. The efficiency of this process hinges on the intensity of irradiance they receive. When assessing sites for solar farms, developers prioritize locations with high irradiance to ensure maximum energy generation and economic viability. Solar farm performance can be influenced by several factors. The time of day. Irradiance peaks when the sun is at its highest in the sky. Seasons. Solar energy varies with the Earth's tilt, offering more in summer and less in the winter. Weather conditions. Clouds and atmospheric haze can diminish sunlight reaching solar panels. Geographical location. Proximity to the equator plays a significant role in solar irradiance levels. But what about regions with lower solar irradiance? Thanks to technological advancements and supportive policies, solar farms can still thrive. States with lower irradiance often offer financial incentives, like tax credits, making solar projects economically feasible. Innovations in solar technology also boost efficiency, allowing energy generation even in the less sunny areas. Solar irradiance is a critical factor in solar farm efficiency, influencing where and how effectively these farms can operate. With the right mix of policies and technology, solar farms have the potential to succeed in diverse locations, contributing to a more sustainable energy future. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more insights into renewable energy and how it's shaping our planet's future. And if you're interested in understanding your property's solar irradiance, get a free property report from Landgate. See you next time.